What's up, everybody? I'm Kinky Poo Tang. That's the motherfucking gang. You feel me? I'm here fucking with Thizzler. Subscribe below or you're a hoe. <laughs> I had to put makeup on because I felt pressured by the Thizzler platform. They're like, they're like, oh, oh, what did she literally just roll out of bed and come to an interview? Yeah, bitch, I did. And I can do that. I'm King Key, okay? I do what I want. Definitely, uh, Poo Tank Clan, there's 10 official members, but there's probably about like 20 of us in total. Um, they've been in the studio, they've been working. Uh, they actually just had a show at the Starline um, Social Club in, was that, downtown Oakland? Um, and uh, with Fila Coochies, <laughs> okay? Um, but yeah, my sister Shug, she's got a lot of uh, material she's been working on. Poo Tank Tay, they're actually gonna start working on a joint project. Um, I just released a video for my Shit Talk song. Um, produced by Charisma 808 that I had first. That was my beat first. Just want to put that out there. Um, and my niggas, uh, 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 Moochie and um, B Mania on that, you know, swagged out, Poo Tank Tay. But yeah, we got a lot of shit. Big Chief, uh, O Banga, we got hella shit coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. We're going to have special guests and everything. It's going to be tight. I just got to have time to do it. Ooh, I should do a, a loving hip hop for this way, right? What's up, everybody? I'm Kinky. You know, I've been fucking with the Thizzler for a long time now. And I decided, let me pull up on my brothers and tell them what's going on in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we talking. You know, doing that's my word. First of all, I never really got credited for I'm not just a co-host, okay? I was a founding creator of the show more than anybody else involved in the show as of recent. Okay? <laughs> um, but I mean it, it was bitter, it was bittersweet, you know, it had pros, you know, I got to network a lot and meet a lot of real dope artists and like, you know, legends and shit that I'm cool with now, I could call up right now, like, nigga, where you at, you feel me? Um, and it definitely got me more opportunities and a little bit of a more, you know, credibility, I guess. People, even if people talk shit about me or they don't fuck with me, um, they still want to use me as a stepping stone because they're like, oh, she works at Thizzler, which I don't really work here, so please stop sending me your music because most of it sucks, okay? Um, and then, um, but the cons, I mean, you know, I think we definitely started off on a rough foot um, just with the whole sack situation. And, you know, I think that had we started off in a different light, a lot more people would fuck with me now, you know, and it probably wouldn't be as difficult for me to, you know, get my shit out there. But, um, I mean, it was cool, you know, it was a, a, an experience and people see me on the stream and be like, you're from Tesla, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just shows everybody that I'm multi-talented. I'm a renaissance figure, you know, multifaceted, baby. I'm not out here just rapping, if that's what you guys are calling what you're doing these days. Anyways. Well, one, I mean, my music and my persona as an artist is already most niggas suck, you know? And so it's like a lot of men who already hate women out there who already want to just talk shit off the fact that I'm a woman talking shit, you know? And they probably can relate to what I'm saying. But um, I think just coming off on like a negative foot, you know, there was people that didn't want to fuck with me because they're scary. They're like, oh, Mozzie called her a Pokemon. Oh my God, we cannot mess with her, you know? Um, and then there was like people who, you know, just, I don't know, like, Weird ass niggas that feel like they gotta like have air in their chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what a, the homies ain't feeling what you said. Like, bitch, oh my God. So, I mean, that was difficult. And it's not necessarily like it prevented me, but it's just like, you know, it left a, not a positive taste in a lot of people's mouth. So, you know, like a lot of promoters, there was some shit that I could have got on, but like the promoters were from SAC, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, they're not fucking with me. Um, 
I mean, but every time I go to a show or I go to an event or anything where I see people who I know talk negatively about me after the sack shit, or I know who don't try to fuck with me or not support me, they suck my dick in person. So it's like, you know, everybody just hates to be real these days. <laughs> Um, I mean, from the whole experience and just from being somebody who's like, you know, not necessarily a public figure, but just a public, local, you know, um, somebody who has a platform, it did, I didn't really learn anything, not like that, but I just realized that there's two options that I could take. I could be a weirdo ass, dick sucking ass, dick riding bitch and just like compliment people and give fake compliments and not be honest, not be forward and not really, you know, ask questions that people want to know about or, you know, voice the unpopular opinion. Um, or I could do what I want and say what I want and accept the consequences for as, what they are, you know? I think that, you know, with this, it also really made me understand platforms and demographics. Cause you know, Thizzler's not really a demographic that fully supports me, you know? Like, um, I wouldn't even say that it's predominantly black men. You know what I'm saying? I would say that there's probably like a, it's probably way more diverse than people would expect to be a rap platform in the Bay Area, you know? Um, but my platform is like, you know, my demographic is women, you know, artsy women, um, the queer community. Definitely niggas fuck with me, but, um, you know, I think my platform is a lot bigger than who follows Thizzler, honestly. So um, I just kind of learned to, if I'm going to be open and honest, then it's going to be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go get a different, I'm going to get raw and up there anyway. Um, or I'm going to just be a weak ass bitch and be depressed because I don't get to say what I want. So I'm here now and you see I've not changed. Yeah, I remember the last interview I did when I had my hair natural with no makeup. Bitch, I was like, all you hoes and your niggas wanna eat my pussy. Bitch. You know, just being an artist, being a, okay, break, breaking it down very technically, being a female rapper who is not, you know, for some reason to a lot of people, obviously black, which I am, I, I'm black. Um, you know, who's not physically, you know, what people have expected from female artists or from sexy women in general, um, who's, you know, I be natural, you know, I go to shit with no makeup and I'm very uh, adamant about being a good mom, you know, like even with all those things and coming as a real person, just trying to share my art and my voice with, you know, the world or whatever, um, that shit's hella difficult, you know? And it really surprises me. Like, you really see shit, like, on Instagram, social media, like, wow, this person's really letting it affect them, and they're responding to everything. You know, I, people judge people a lot, um, but that shit is hella hard to, you know, be working really hard and be juggling a lot and, you know, just trying to be the best you and do things to make you happy, and people just hate on you. Just hate, oh my God, like, for no reason, because really, if you don't like my music, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to support me. I'm going shit on you anyway, regardless, because I'm me. But you know, people go out their way to be like, fuck this fat bitch, ah, somebody throw her off the Bay Bridge. What is this shit, ah? And I'm like, like that shit's hella unnecessarily weird, you know? But I think it makes you stronger. And I think that any female artist right now of any level, any platform, any skill ability, cause some of you hoes suck, um, you're all gonna face the same problems. You know, whether you're good or not, whether people fuck with you or not, people are gonna underestimate you. Niggas is gonna wanna act like they wanna work with you, but they really wanna fuck you, which is like 99% of the niggas that ever communicate with me. And people are gonna mistreat you based upon your music, you know, like, I'm very honest in my music and I'm very sexual, but it doesn't mean I walk around, walk down the street looking to suck somebody's dick. I am a mother, you know, I'm raising a man. Um, it's just weird, you know, but you know, you just gotta put out good music, tang gang on them, slap these pussy hoes with your dick. <laughs> okay, but that's it, I don't know.